Let's hear the story for today and listen closely to the end. Someone was coming, but they had to wait. What were the disciples waiting for? On this Sunday, we celebrate the day called Ascension. We remember how the disciples returned to Jerusalem. They gathered again together in a room, and Jesus was there. They were more comfortable now with the new way of knowing him, so they asked many questions, most of them a little bit silly. Lord, will you restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus cut short such talk. It is not for you to know the times or the seasons. He led them out of the room and through the streets. They went beyond the walls of Jerusalem to a hillside, perhaps near Bethany. Jesus stopped and they gathered around him. He lifted up his hands, looking at each one of them, and he blessed them. Then he withdrew and a cloud took him out of sight. The disciples stood looking into the sky until someone said, why are you looking at the sky? There were two men standing there dressed in white and the disciples felt silly. What were they doing looking up into the sky for what they could no longer see? The strangers then answered their own question. This was Jesus. He is gone now as you have known him. It seemed like a weight had lifted off their shoulders. The disciples turned and walked back toward Jerusalem. Now they had to wait. What was this Holy Spirit he had said was coming? How would they know when it arrived? They waited and waited. While they waited, they found someone to replace Judas. God helped them find Matthias. So now they were 12 once more, but they still had to keep waiting. How long would it take for the Holy Spirit to come? On this Sunday, the last Sunday in Eastertide, we hear the story of the Ascension. We hear a story of how Jesus went back up to God. Let's think about when we light a candle and then we extinguish it. Remember how we talk about changing the light? How the smoke curls and furls up? We can still smell it after we can no longer see it. The light is still with us in some way, in a new way. It's not the same but it's still there. I wonder what your favorite part of today's story is. I wonder where you can see yourself in today's story. I wonder if you've ever been left behind. I wonder how that feels. Before Jesus was taken up into the cloud, he told the disciples that they would be baptized in the Holy Spirit. I wonder when they thought this would happen. I wonder what they thought the Holy Spirit was. I wonder what you think the Holy Spirit is. When Jesus vanished, I wonder if he was really gone. I wonder how he was still with the disciples. I wonder what part of this story is about you. It helps to have a friend that never goes away. I wonder who that could be.